The Beachcomber Hotel problem described in chapter um, in the chapter for quality management uh, shows you how to compute a p-chart and its control limits. In this video, I will show you how to use the Excel add-in phstat uh, to compute the chart, the to create the chart, uh, the p-chart and its control limits. With phstat active and launched in Excel, go to add-ins menu and click on phstat. Go to control charts and choose p-chart. With the dialog box open, for non-conformity cell, cell range, select the entire cell of rooms not ready because those are the number of non-conformities. Notice the first cell, which is the heading uh, for that field, is highlighted. Therefore, I will make sure that this, cell, this box, uh, which says first cell contains labels, is checked off. In the next group, uh, for sample size or subgroup size, uh, the size does not vary in this problem. In other words, each of the 28 days, we inspected 200 rooms. Therefore, I will put 200 rooms and size does not vary. Title is Beachcomber P-Chart. And if I click OK, the chart is created based on this data that has been used. Um, here's the lower control limit, upper, uh, upper control limit, and the center lines that have been um, created. And with, the, with these fields, this chart was created. The calculations and the summaries are on the calculations tab. And of course, here's the data that I used. This was uh, a situation where sample size does not vary. You can create a p-chart um, for um, uh, an exercise where the sample size does vary from sample to sample. So again, with, um, and this one is the sponge problem that is described. Um, in the book. So we have uh, Excel add-in again. I go to phstat, control chart, p-chart. For non-conformities, I will again choose the non-conformities range. Um, first cell does contain labels, so I will keep that checked off. But now size varies. And because the size varies, I will highlight I will highlight the field where the sample sizes are indicated. And with that, I will give it a name, sponge p-chart. And again, you can see that the p-chart is computed. Uh, here's the numbers that were used to create the p-chart. And these are the summary p-chart calculations. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.